This lesson covers the topic of acid mine drainage, or AMD. This lesson is to be presented in conjunction with a hands-on lab activity involving the neutralization of AMD. This lesson was prepared by Andrew Lucas and narrated by Sam Drarup. This lesson was created as part of the Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom Books Project at Ohio University, funded by the National Science Foundation. Ohio has a long history of coal mining. We believe industrial mining began in the late 17 or early 1800s. We do not actually know how long mining has occurred, as the industry was largely unregulated until 1947. Coal mining has been, and continues to be, an important industry in southeastern Ohio, with an estimated 3.6 billion tons of coal being mined. After the end of World War II, mining shifted from labor-intense underground mining to strip mining using large industrial machinery. In 1947, the state of Ohio passed the Strip Coal Mining Act. This act put a tax on each ton of coal, which would be used to reclaim an area once the mine was no longer active. In 1949, this act was given teeth by creating the Division of Reclamation. These steps, however, did not improve abandoned mines pre-1947. In 1977, the federal government passed the Surface Mining Control Act. This act not only put a tax on coal to reclaim new mines, but it also increased taxes on coal being mined to reclaim damage from pre-regulated. Division of Natural Resources has created an interactive map that has most of the known mines in Ohio marked. As you can see, the vast majority of mining in the state occurs in the southeasternmost part. Acid drainage is a consequence of the geology in southeastern Ohio. This part of the state has coal with a high concentration of sulfur compounds, such as pyrite or fool's gold. Iron sulfide, fool's gold, interacts with oxygen and water to yield iron 2, sulfate, and hydrogen ions. Iron 2 interacts with additional oxygen and hydrogen ions to create iron 3 in water. These two reactions occur simultaneously, producing a solution that is high in iron and sulfate, as well as being extremely acidic. The highly acidic environment dissociates other metals from the rocks in the mine, such as aluminum, manganese, cadmium, as well as many others. Inevitably, the water within the mine will drain through a fissure, sometimes many miles away from the abandoned mine itself. As the acidic mine water mixes with the circumneutral stream water, the pH of the mine water increases to the point where the previously dissolved metals precipitate and blank at the bottom of the stream. This fine layer of flocculent is directly toxic to many organisms, as well as reducing habitat availability. Image of Big Bailey Run, just upstream of Chansey. As you can easily see, upstream of the seep, the water is in good condition with a diverse aquatic community. Immediately downstream of the seep, the bottom of the stream is blanketed with iron hydroxides or rust. There are few organisms found below the seep, as the pH is incredibly low, near 3, and there is a tremendous amount of iron precipitates. Radiation efforts have been widely used in southeast Ohio. There are several different approaches, but all try to increase the buffering capacity of a stream by adding basic material. Adding basic material increases pH and causes the metals to rapidly precipitate from the water. Southeastern Ohio has undergone extensive remediation projects with over $28 million being spent on 61 projects. This is an outline of Raccoon Creek, which is one of the most studied AMD remediation projects in Ohio. The left-hand side represents the baseline data before the implementation of remediation technologies. The blue color indicates the stream sections that are meeting or exceeding the pH criteria in 2001 and then in 2014 post-remediation. As you can see, there have been drastic increases in the amount of stream sections meeting the pH criteria of 6.5 due to the remediation efforts. Not only has the water chemistry of the streams undergoing remediation improved, but biology has responded as well. In many of the stream sections downstream of remediation, sensitive taxa of invertebrates and fish have returned. Now treat your own AMD water using the addition of basic material. Each group will get 100 milliliters of untreated acid drainage impaired stream water. You will need baking soda, AMD impaired stream water, a beaker, whey paper and balance, and pH strips or meter. You will add baking soda, one gram at a time, to the AMD impaired water until you achieve a neutral pH. Keep track of how much baking soda is added and record the observations of the water from each addition. Thank you for your attention.